Hi, it's midday. Welcome to today in my boo journal. Um, I'm not. I'm not set up. I'm literally just going to open some packages before I go out and do some gardening. So, yeah, we'll get we'll get going with the proper today in my boojo a bit later on. But I've got gardening to do. <coughs> so what we got in here? Hmm. Little notes die. Hey, but a pencil for Pencil that? and a pen and a clip and all sorts of doohickeys. That's good fun. What, what's in here? What's in really this? Really annoyed. I've been stung for customs on a parcel from the US. Which one is in this? It was only like two quid over the incoming charge and I only need to pay four pound on it. Wow. <coughs> but Royal Mail, which is our postal company, charges you eight pound for the pleasure of doing it for you. Yeah, these are cute. These little succulents and things in there. Awesome. I got this one. Yeah, I've got it covered up because it's got my dress on both sides. So I'm just gonna take it off shop while I find scissors to open it. Where are my big oh they're over there? Daryl, Daryl, could you shush? I don't think Isis is interested in you that, darling. I think I can trust her. Like, trust her. What is this? It's in a box. Mum. Oh, it's a, it's a watercolour palette. Mum. I, I didn't know that was coming from Wow, well done! Japan. Thank you. Oh done, you're a good girl. Yes. Hi, coming in. <clears throat> so this is that's oh, that's Arnie coming in. Arnie says how big of a garden. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all my shh, all my Jane Davenports in here. They're puppies. Oh these are separate, that's a good idea. Oh that's quite cool. Yeah, I quite like that. And these just lift out. And they're not going to move because they've each got their own individual little holes. That is really, really cool. I like that a lot. It's plastic, so I'll rough that up a little bit. That one is already slightly rough, which is really good as a blending palette. Now, this is supposed to be a Medine one, but it doesn't actually say Medine anywhere on it. So I'm going to double check that. I've just realised my dress has been showing, so I'll have to blur that out later. And I've also got... A Delphonics pouch. Now this is gonna hold all my goodies so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go away and do what we've got to do today and then I'm gonna come back and fill this up for you guys later on to see exactly how much this will hold because I want to know if this will replace this. We will see. <clears throat> So there we go. Somebody else had one of these and she said she got a shitload of stuff in it. It's got a foamy pad. Cool, that'd be useful. It's got pockets all over it. So yeah, I'll let you know. I'll be back a bit later and we'll just... Well, how exciting when you have new posts to arrive. And it really was. So I had this this was what all my pens and shit used to live on and it takes up quite a bit of room it's about the same size as my planner you know maybe a wee bit smaller and I couldn't fit everything in it you know so it has velcro bits that go on there to make more of these but these were a pain in the ass to stick pens in and out of and then I saw on somebody's channel I can't even remember who it was now it's on a channel on I don't know anyway and it was a Delphonics um, case and that's what arrived this morning and I was curious to see whether everything that fitted in that other case would fit in here well it does and then some <laughs> okay inside I have got my scissors my spare rulers and my Erin Condren pens some glue a glue pen a couple of little bits and bobs I've got a tape runner in a pocket there glue stick and a white out pen in there little note book thing in there and my syringe for filling up my fountain pens but I'll probably move that um, and then my invisible tape in there in the back pocket I've got this is something little and made when he was at school 
It's a little jar with his face. Look at that. Yeah, I broke my nail as well. I've been gardening, so you know. And I've got my colour wheel, my flare pens, and my palette knife. And then all the business stuff is here. Um, basically, because this is the side that's facing me while it's sitting over there on my desk. So I've got my um, ink joy pens at the back with my uh, uh, <laughs> Pit Artist pens next to them and my Uniball really, really fine pen there. My Fujinusuki pen is just in front. Then in this pocket, I've got my retractable pencil and my razor. I've got a white gel pen there. Then in this pocket, I've got my two brush pens that I use, my craft knife and my little mini bone folder. My big one is in there somewhere at the bottom, that white thing down there. Um, in this pocket, I've got my fountain pens that are in use, my little mini ones down in there. That's the only thing that I can't really find a home for is this pen so it's just tucked in there for now and i've got two more of these coming so i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do about these i suppose they could go inside but i want my pens in the outside but anyway i've got my fountain pens and my pen of the day in there so oh, i've also hung my mary poppins charms that i did buy for that but found them far too annoying off of here as well this takes up so much less room oh my protractor Home for that, probably in with my colour wheel. Um, yeah, it takes up so much less room because it's it stands up. You know, it's probably about the same thickness as this, but where it stands on its end like that, rather than flat like that, and it's got pockets on the outside, it actually takes up a lot less room. So yeah, that's I like that. We'll see how I get on with that for now. Anyway. It is now 9.14 p.m. and it is time for today in my bujo. Daryl is in bed, so we won't be getting any help there. Pardon me. my mic and what I want to do is actually lower it because it's it's up at this level here but when I lean over I'm down here and I tend to go mm, yes and I mutter and then when I play it back I'm like oh, shit I need to turn that up because it's not it's not picked up you know because I've gotten really quiet so that was yesterday right so I need last night's step And yes, we've started digging up the garden to um, basically flatten it out, get rid of a load of weeds and all of that lot. And I've just wrecked my nails today doing it. It's soiled, dries out your nails in a way that nothing else does. Um, and um, then I was trying to open my new palette, which has arrived. And um, I haven't quite figured out the best way to open it and my thumb slipped and it just broke. So this is my new palette. The paints inside aren't new. The paints inside are my Jane Davenport paints. I've moved them all out of their... Um, I'll probably get rid of that. It's going to annoy me. I moved them all out of their little mini palettes and I stuck them in here. And using multimedia paper, I created a swatch card. So I now know what everything is. And it's all in one palette. All my Jane Davenport's are in one palette. And I could, if necessary, squeeze in a whole load more paints. I'm really tempted to actually try and see if I can get my primers in here. 
but I don't know if they would fit because I only have two Prima tins. You know, I've got the classics and the pastels. So the main question would be, would they fit? Yeah, they would, but they would slide. But then I suppose once they're packed in, they might not, mm, they might not move much. So I might, I might have a go at that a bit later on and see if they will fit. And if they do, they might all end up in here just because it would make life so much easier than have to get out a bazillion of these. We'll see. I love that it's got these two little mixing palettes. So, and then yeah, I just leave that on the top. And that's it. It is, it is a, well, I'm assuming it's a Medine. The little palettes that I took out all said Medine on them. Um, and I got this on Amazon, it's a 36 one. So yeah, I may well try and see if my other ones fit. But this is plastic, whereas my other Medine, this one, is metal. And this one has inside uh, my eclectic scribbles paints across the top. And then these are just some cheap tube paints. Um, I can't remember what they're called. I don't even know where they are. Um, just some cheap tube paints that I bought. And they're crap. They are. They are shit. There's a couple of nice colours. Like, that's a really good one for skin. But, you know, I've got one in here that will do that. It's called Buff in the one of Jane Davenport palettes. So, yeah, I don't get this one out as much. So, and this one holds like 40-odd. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I managed to squeeze 13 across there so you know <laughs> it's about 52 at a push but yeah I don't it this is noisy and it irritates me whereas this one is nice and quiet it rattles that's just the pans moving but I loved that the pans have their own individual little hole to um, fit inside you know and they do they do lift out i spent five minutes taking them all out earlier on and then left the palette on the desk with the little pans next to it and when i came back in daryl had very helpfully put all the little pans back in the little holes thanks daryl cheers to that bud that's all <laughs> so right um what am i doing going through this uh My days are off because I wrote that as 19 and today is 19. I think I know what I've done wrong. Yeah, I labelled the live as 15. Shit. So the live was 14. Money was 15, Mail was 16, Outcast was 17, Marvel was yesterday. <sighs> bugger, bugger, bugger. Right. Um, I didn't do anything else tonight. So this is still Sunday's pen. I haven't got anything else to put off there. I need to put another... Um, Tab for my twin tones swatch, and then I put 18 there. So let's change the pen. I was wondering if I would be able to fit these pens in into there, and I would, but I wouldn't be able to put anything else in there. I I reckon they would fit in the middle. Yes, that thing would fit in the middle, the case that these pens came in. But then I've got, like I say, I've got like three pairs of scissors. I don't need three pairs of scissors, I know, but you never know. I've got my big set and my little set. And then I found another little set that I had floating around. So they live in there. And then I've also got my large bone folder, my little ruler and the protractor, which I don't really need either of those. My larger pencil, my larger ink joy pen. My Erin Condren pens, which I, I must admit I don't use, and the glue pen that I bought the other week, which I might actually stick that there because I'm worried it might leak or something. So, you know, 
I suppose really I, I need to worry about. I wonder if that would fit. Yeah, but I wouldn't be able to close it. Not that closing it is really a thing. Yes, it would, but it would be tight and it wouldn't be... I don't even know if that's at the bottom. No, it's not. Even at the bottom, it's caught on about five different things. So, yes, it would go in there. It would fit this big pack of 72 double-ended fibre tip pens. But if you're going to do it, I would recommend not putting anything else in there first. So, yeah. Doesn't need to be in that anyway. Oops. Right. Oh. And I also stuck my badges on the front of it. I have got more badges, but they're on my knitting bag. So I've got my TARDIS that Kyle and I won a year or so ago. My little planner addict pouch. My little Simon's cat dangling and another one jumping. <laughs> then I've got a little... That was for a charity. I can't remember which one. And then I've got a little heart one there that's also for a charity. I've got a shed load of pins on my knitting bag, which is in the other room. And I did think about bringing them over, but the often removal of pens in and out I think is going to possibly knock backs off of these things because the backs aren't great on pins like that have you noticed so right let's go back to the beginning now I screenshot the weather earlier and it said it was 19 degrees and it was raining it wasn't it was lovely today so the weather is tripping but there has been rain, but not a lot. So 19 over 11. 05.58. We're below. Nearly at 6am. Oh my god. And 18 minutes past 8. God. I can't believe it's almost at the... 6 a.m. sunrise time. I can draw a couple of raindrops on that because it um is nice for the rest of the day. So today I have worn day face cream. I haven't pulled a card and it's too late in the day to pull one now. Right. Um, probably going to go with that smiley and 4.43 for pain because I've had a massive headache all day and it wasn't helped by the fact that I was out in the sun all afternoon, well most of the day actually. I was bending over picking up weeds because what we're doing is we're my garden is, is all weeds so we're digging up so we can relay the lawn so you're turning over all the weeds and that and then you've got to get out there and sort of pick them up and every time I let over my head just went Pfft. but I'm really really pleased with the work that the boys have done so well the two that sort of were there Everybody else bailed on us, so we did it on our own. <laughs> there we go. Oh, little eyebrows. Is what it is today. Okay, so sleep. Right, I can now delete that photo. 
Yeah, you see, I even took a picture of the Met Office as well, and that just said sun all day long. So it was like, mm, okay, you guys can't seem to agree. Not impressed. She was glaring at me out the window. Well, I was inside, she was outside, and she was like, I don't want to be out here. So I was like, well, you can come in if you want. And she just went, meow. So I was like, oh, okay. Whatever. Right. I slept, apparently. I slept quite well. So, 1.34 to 9.20. I was just dozing off and Daryl came in. So, I would say I slept till 1 to 1.30. And then, hmm, it says 9.20, but I was awake a bit longer than that. So about half past. And I think I slept most of the night. There's something about having a four-year-old cuddling you that makes me sleep well. Most of the time, anyway. Some nights it's like I'm hot, and you're hot, and you fidget away. <laughs> My nail tech has this lovely um, ability to ignore you when you ask for appointments. I sent her a message with my thumbnail and she went, oh my god, how did you do that? And I said, my finger slipped while I was opening my new watercolour palette. Got no response, she didn't read it. And then I sent her another message saying, I don't suppose you have any space. Again, she's not bothered to open it. And I know she's not opened it because then it would be like, well, I have to answer if I open it, which means I have to give an appointment. And I know she's not chronically, chronically busy because her students have all finished now. But she won't answer me, which means I'm going to spend the next two weeks with a broken fucking thumbnail. But there's nothing I can do about it. Ten two seven zero dash four point two seven. That's good. That's good. Pleased with that. Right. Today is digging. That is what today is all about. Wow, that is lumpy. <laughs> the tag is lumping me out. I hate doing letters with a tail because I'm never sure. What to do with them when it comes to joining them up, you know? And it's like, it looks shit no matter what I do with it. Right, now we're on 19. Yay. Right, um, today I haven't, I haven't done much. safe to say housework is a bust until everything else is done at the moment okay what are we up to nothing in for today um, yeah that whole thing is finished <sighs> I still haven't made a spiral lock. I went hunting for the fibre and I can't find it. I had a whole bag full of fibre that I'd used to make some of the woolies in my hair, like this. And I can't find any of it. So that can go on hold for now. Uh, yeah, my mum's got renal tomorrow. So we have to go to that. Right. I think I'm just going to jump straight onto the next page. Because, oh, that was the drawing I started for Alex's uh, logo. I was thinking more of like a yin yang type thing. I used the internet for this, I must admit. Um, 
so yeah we have to change it so I'm not going to use that page because I might want to sketch some more ideas on there so we're going to jump page jump page I'll put my little thingy under there and I will get my doohickey Now, I need to do the word for today, which is internet to cheat. Make little dots stand out because it doesn't look quite right. So yeah. Who was Wilbur and why was he handle? photo from today which I'm thinking I might add in. Actually I've got a couple of photos. I've got a nice one of the dog. Dog and the cat and Now you can keep a collage together, of course. I like lots of little photos there. I think they look cool. Like so. I have got somewhere this it's like a little film strip die but it only fits three and four photos make just slightly too big do for the animals <laughs> but the rest of it wouldn't hmm. I might remember that in the future though okay um, because I like rounded corners I'm going to round them off. I find four mil works perfectly on these little itty bitty ones. So now I have a nice little mat of photos. I can just journal around it, which will look cool. Well, I think it will anyway. So, yeah. that's it I'm gonna leave it there and um, you know hope you enjoyed it don't forget thumbs up if you did leave a comment down below because we like comments if you're not already please do consider clicking the book and subscribing to my channel I would really really appreciate it that's that book there in the corner and um, if you hit the bell that appears down below you'll be notified when I upload new content thank you so much for joining me today I really 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 do appreciate it uh, I'm planning to go live on Wednesday guys uh, so we can get set up for the final week of August ever ever closer to Daryl going to big school yes we've still got one more week to get set up okay so yeah that'll be done in live I hope you join me I look forward to it I will see you all then but in the meantime I will see you in Tuesday's edition of today in my bujo take it easy guys <laughs>